Hello, and this is another quick tutorial in this series about motion graphics in video journalism. In this one, we're going to look how to animate document and to highlight certain parts. I took as an example the latest IPCC report about global warming, and we're going to try to animate, boom, one sentence. And we're going to also look another style, which is instead of zooming into the area of interest, we're going to pop out the sentence and underline it. Let's look how to do this. Very first thing, we're going to start by preparing our project. So I'm going to create a new folder and call that document animation, which is going to be my project folder. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to inside create three subfolder, one for assets, one for projects and one for renders. Now we need to gather our assets. So to get the document we need for our animation, I went on the IPCC website, searched a bit for it and found the latest version of the report and it's in my download folder. So I'm going to copy this and bring it into document animation. Oh, sorry, document animation and I'm going to paste it in assets. In this, we're going to only animate one page. So I'm going to open it and just get the page that I need and I know the sentence that I like is in page 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the one we want to highlight this part. So and so to be able to work with it with, in After Effects, I'm going to export this page. I'm going to do file, export, it's in French, sorry, and select JPEG. And I'm going to put, make sure here you are in 300 pixel uh, per inch. So it's um, in a decent quality and I'm going to save it in assets and we're going to do page 14. Boom. And, and first thing we're going to start by saving our new project and save it in my project folder. And I'm going to call it document animation version one. Boom. Now we are ready to go and I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to select HDTV 1080 25 frames per second. And this uh, should set you up time. We don't need 25 seconds. I'm going to select 15 and I'm going to name it doc anim version one. And we're going to directly import the page we have saved. And I'm going to drop it over the timeline. So it automatically put it in the middle. And as you can see, it's very big. So to see what's going on, I'm going to start by going there, develop transform and put the scale a bit lower. And I'm going to here and fit to the screen. So first thing we need to do is to prepare, I think, the, the document itself, which, as you can see in the example, fades and isolates the sentence that we need. So to do so, I'm going to put this into a pre-comp. So I'm going to do command shift C. We can all, you can also do right click pre-comp and I'm going to keep page 14. That's fine. And so inside there, I can edit it and I'm going to put over it. I'm going to put a white solid, which is going to use to diffuse, as you can see, the the document. I'm going to make sure it's full white because I think it looks a bit gray. Yeah, boom. Now it's full white. And I'm going to put it 85. And now I'm, what I'm going to do is a mask in the sentence here. So I'm going to do it. You can you could go with the, the pen tool, but me, I'm going to go with the rectangle tool. And I will do first a big mask like this. As you can see, it's, it's the opposite of what we want. So I'm going to, while I'm still holding the cursor, I'm going to press S, which is going to switch to subtract mode. And so we're almost there. I just need to hide this word. So I'm going to re-click here and do a second mask. And this is exactly what we want. And boom, that's good. And the next thing we're going to do the highlights. So to do so, I'm going to zoom a little bit on the area of interest. I'm going to make sure I deselect everything. I'm going to call this mat. And, and I'm going to Make sure I get the pen tool and I'm going to come over here, click the first time, hold the shift key and boom. So it creates a, a line. I'm going to make this thick. 
And yeah, what, but what we want is to see through, right? So to do so, we're going to use the mode, the blending mode, and which is, you see what you're going to do. There's a, a bunch of it, but we're going to use multiply in this one and, and boom, this is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to call this highlight. Oh. Highlight, yeah. We don't need fill here, so I'm going to remove it. We need, we need only the stroke. And I'm going to just quickly press the shift click and just make it slightly a bit larger. Yeah, that's that's not bad. And what we want to do, of course, is to animate it. So I'm going to go come over here, add, and I'm going to do trim paths. I'm going to develop it and animate the end of it. I'm going to use my favorite plugin, Ease and Wiz. I'm going to use the Quart mode. And whoo, great. I'm going to create also a background. I'm going to do new solid. I'm going to put this a bit gray, kind of pale gray. <coughs> Call this PG for background. Put it below and I'm going to lock it. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so to animate this, I'm going to use my null object technique that I explained in the first tutorial. So I'm going to create a null. I'm going to attach the page to it. I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to come here and create a position keyframe and a scale keyframe. And I'm going to go a bit further and zoom to the area of interest. So I think this is pretty much it. So I'm going to make sure the target is uh, now the if you see the look is dragged by this area. So I'm going to adjust that slightly and a bit more like this. Yeah, now we are going straight to the thing. Yeah, this is great. And we can push it a bit more actually. Yeah, this is great. So if we put the keyframe at the beginning, yeah, this is pretty nice. The, so the underlining is a bit early and also we want the page to fade to white a little bit. So, and we want to do that while it's during the motion. So I'm going to come here and around this moment, I'm going to first move the highlight a little bit later, probably around here should be fine. And I'm going to also animate the opacity of the white mat and it should do the job yeah this is pretty nice this is it actually this is what we wanted <clears throat> so i'm going to show you the second technique so for the second technique i'm going to keep the the animation that i have with the mat and the underlining as a base but this time what we want is to pop out the block. So how to do this? I'm going to start by duplicating the document actually. So we have two versions of it and what we're going to do is to mask the one on top. So we're going to call that quote. I'm going to zoom in the area of interest with command plus. Make, I want a bit of space here. Oh, whatever. And I'm going to come take the rectangle tool and yeah let's get the whole block just so if people want to read they can and boom great i'm gonna put the anchor point right in the middle of this make sure ah it's yeah this is yeah this is fine uh, so I, I hold the command keys to be able to lock the anchor point yeah and now I'm going to put this in color. And now what I'm going to do is to again animate the position and the scale. I'm using the shortcuts here, but you can develop here as well. Come a bit further and boom, zoom the area. Let's see what's going on by hold the fit shortcut. <coughs> And yeah, this is nice. This is exactly what we want. So 
I'm going to do that. I'm going to apply ease and ways on this. Not bad. I'm going to space it up a little bit so it's smooth. Um, to make the thing a bit readable, I'm going to apply a quick shadow on it. So I'm going to go on here. Essential uh, effects and presets. Sorry, it's there. And here I'm going to search for drop shadow and I'm going to apply it to here. So it makes this kind of shadow. We're going to tweak it a little bit so it's a bit more elegant. So this will be a bit blocky. We're going to soft it a little bit and we're going to make it go very gentle with shadow because it can become ugly like very fast. And I'm going to animate the opacity of it so the shadow can grow as the quote travels. I'm going to apply the same ease and ways on this. So then there is no shadow and boom. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is what I want. And last thing is to change this to an underline because in our example, the first one was highlight and second was underline. So I'm going to, to do so, I'm going to, it's going to be very simple. I'm going to come in the pre-comp and zoom here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the same thing. I'm going to rename it underline. I'm going to change the position and put it below and just make it smaller. So very simple. Yeah. Perfect. I like sound effects. Boom. A quick last note. If for some reason you want to move the document, don't forget to attach the quote to the document. Why? Because at the moment, like there, there is no link to, to the quote and the page, which means if I move the page, the quote is like by itself. So what you want to do is to parent the quote and you want to do it before it gets scaled up and you're going to use the, this spiral thing and attach it to the page. And now if you move the page, it's moving together and zooming and you can even move it like, yeah, whatever you do, with whatever you want to do with it. So that's it for these tutorials. Indeed, there are plenty of space to bring this to the next level, like make this even more lively. And well, I'm sure there are other tutorials on YouTube as well, so you can check this out. And um, yeah, see you in the next tutorial.